Hey guys, welcome to the GR Family 11 Memorial Challenge. Today we're going to be seeking out 11 different one of these sites and we're going to go and find the history and the story behind each one. I hope you enjoy. As you can see, this memorial is dedicated to the memory of the Canadian Allied men and women of the Naval Merchant Services who have given their lives in the cause of peace and freedom. On the sailor's grave, no roses bloom. In memory of ships sunk during World War II and the many battles of the Atlantic, the Canadian fleet has erected headstones to remember those who have passed on. The Whitehall Cenopan in London, Ontario was constructed in memory of those who lost their lives in the First and Second World War and the Korean War. Here we are in Victoria Park today, in front of one of the memorials of World War II. This tank was used by the First, the first Hussars Division in fighting World War One and World War Two, This is the Sherman called the Holy Roller. 2005, the year of the veteran. The Veterans Garden, on, dedicated on November the 4th, 2005, to remember and honor and to celebrate our Canadian veterans. May the memory of their achievements and, and sacrifices be kept alive. This V represents the V for victory of Canada. Welcome to the monument that was erected to the memory of the men and women who ser of Elgin County who served in the, in the war, in the Great War of 1914 and 1918. This memorial is a tribute to the fallen soldiers of Afghanistan from 2001 to 2014. They paid the what? ultimate sacrifice. Welcome to the Cenopath and St. Thomas, lest we forget, um, and they gave their, their tomorrow for our today. This cenopad is um, commemoration of who participated in the Great War 1914 to 1918, Second War 1939-1945, the Korean War 1950 to 1953, Afghanistan 2001 to 2014. RCAF Technical Training School the only facility of its kind in Ontario during Second World War. Number one technical training school, St. Thomas, was established by the RCAF in 1939 to produce skilled ground crews for active wartime service. This bench is located in Victoria Park, Ontario. It is dedicated to the many veterans that gave their lives and made the ultimate sacrifice. Okay, so where we are, we're at the Royal Canadian Legion Victory Branch on the second floor, and this is a museum. And uh, some of the memoirs we have from World War One, World War Two, and some Afghanistan uh, momentums. We have hat badges. We have uh, some of the bayonets, and we have the different uniforms and the tunics that have been worn over the time. This is all World War Two. This is the dress uniforms that they used to wear. So we have quite a nice collection. We have some uh, other artifacts downstairs as you walk around the branch. This is uh, this legion is very involved in supporting of our veterans over the last few years that I've been involved here. Uh, but before that, there's always been somebody before. So we do a lot of work. All the positions here are volunteer positions. Our poppy campaign is 100%. Every nickel that is donated to the poppies goes towards supporting our veterans. So a lot of money is raised for supporting of our homeless vets. We do a lot of uh, in vets in crisis. And every branch has what we call a service officer, like me, to take and interview veterans. They do, and we'll do the pension apps. We'll help them financially, and we give them all the moral support that we can. We're in my office, and what we're doing right now is we're looking at my father's medals that I have mounted, and I have records of his service. My uh, father served, and I also served. My brother also served, and my brother-in-law. My brother was in the Army. My brother-in-law was in the Navy. And I was in the Air Force, so we kind of went try service on the in the family. And what we're doing right now is we're looking at my father's medals that I have mounted, and I have records of his service. 
Here is his service in World War II and what he did. He enlisted on the 12th of March in 1940, and he got out after the war ended on the 7th of September, 1945. The first medals are all World War II medals up to this one. This is the Korean medal, and this is his CD medal. He got this because when the Korean conflict came on, he went back in and he stayed in to, retire, to his retirement age. He was in the Canadian Scottish in World War II, and in, World War, and in the Korean conflict, he was in the Black Watch, and that's the two hat badges that you see. And when he retired, he retired out of the Black Watch. Thank you so much for your service, Mr. John, and thank you so much for seeing us today. You're welcome. If you want to find out more about the memorials near you or about the Canadian Royal Legion, you can Google Veterans Affairs. Once you're there, you can go to the search bar and type Canadian Memorials. You will be redirected to the Canadian Military Memorial Database. There, you can search your province, the city where you're looking for, and the results of each one of the military memorials will appear. Each one of them has a description of the memorial and even the inscription of what is written in the plaque of the memorial. You can also visit your local library. They always have great recommendations and you can ask them questions about books related to Remembrance Day or any of the wars Canada has been involved with. You can check out the Veterans Affairs website and find some cool activities for kids. They have the Canada Remembers Times and they have other interesting stuff like videos and activities for children. Check it out! Right. Hey guys, I really hope you enjoyed that video. Remember to share and subscribe this video with all your friends and family. Bye.